Hello, scientists! Welcome back to Draw Bell Med. In the comments, I saw some of you ask me how to draw membrane proteins. I will start with the most、uh, basic one, which is the transmembrane protein. You only need the basic shapes to assemble it, and、um, so I will very quickly show you in this tutorial. First, grab your ellipse tool to draw an ellipse like that. I'll make the fill orange. Uh, as in the example, so here that's the orange that we want. Good.、Uh, let's、uh, zoom in to take a closer look.、Uh, then we need the body of the rod. So we will grab our rectangle tool to make the body here. Okay.、Uh, Let's make it lighter so we can see it、uh, even lighter. Yeah, that's good. It's a little bit too small. Not so great. How does it、uh, fit? Does it fit good? Well, yes. Now it fits well. Good, and、uh, it looks a little bit awkward、uh, with a flat bottom. So、uh, we need to fix that. That's duplicate the ellipse from the top. Okay, still looks awkward.、Um, so as you can see, we need to combine these two shapes.、Uh, what we need to do is to use the Pathfinder tool to unite these two shapes. Then、uh, you can see you have a very three-dimensional rod right here.、Um, then we'll add on the outlines. Let's come here to grab a gray outline there, and then for the body. Okay, let's group them by pressing Command G or Control G. Okay, that's uh, almost uh, about it. I'll scale it down a little bit and put it on top of our membrane. So for the iron channel, it has six transmembrane domains. So let's duplicate it to six of them. Good.、Uh, yeah. Well, so the cell is a little bit small.、Um, so either I need to scale it down a little bit more, or、uh, to scale it up. So I'll scale the、uh, transmembrane domain down even a little bit more. Okay, and then let's align them as how we see in the example to make two channels out. And we can align these parts. So some minor adjustment there. Yeah, good. Then the other two parts. Okay, so the last part is to combine all these parts together with the,、uh, the hydrophilic domain. We can come here to grab our pencil tool, and then just add them on like that. Okay, it looks a little bit crooky.、Uh, <laughs> So as you can see, if you draw it with hand, it can look a little bit too organic. So、uh, if this is what you like, that's great. But if you want to have a more schematic style, I suggest you to break down a ellipse to make some perfect、uh, how do you call that perfect arch. By doing so, you will have a better-looking、uh, hydrophilic parts. So let's、uh, take a look at it here. Now I already have one part, and I'll change it to the orange color. 
good. And there's a little detail that we need to fix, which is the ending. Now it is flat. So we can come here to stroke and then change it to round endings. Then it will look more three-dimensional when we put it onto transmembrane domains. And make, let's make it a little bit thicker. Good. Yeah, then I'll just duplicate it. Then you just turn it around. Turn it around, great. Uh, I'll send these to the back. Good. Oh, uh, there's a little mistake here there. Uh, it should be like that. Like that. Good. That. And the last two parts. If you want to make it a little bit fancy, you can grab your direct selection tool and just play with the anchor points a little bit to make it more stylish. All right, this is how it looks like in the example. If you want to make it even more detailed, you can add some gradient on the body. So uh, we can very quickly do that by applying a gradient. To it, uh, we will need a linear gradient. Orange. Then I'll set it at 50. Another, oops, another orange. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, that looks great. And I will apply this to uh, other transmembrane domain with an eyedropper tool. Oh, that's too much. Uh, the top is also transformed they are all grouped together. I'll ungroup them temporarily. Then I drop a tool. Great! Yes, so that's how you draw a transmembrane protein. I hope this tutorial has helped you with your graphical abstract. If you find this video helpful, Please like the video and also subscribe to DrawBellMed for more graphical abstract tutorials. I'll see you at the next tutorial.